We realized there was nothing keeping us tied to being a traditional advertiser. We're putting in a lot of hours. We're focusing on every little detail because the stakes are high. This will be the introduction of See the Real Me to a broader world. This piece of content, you have a huge responsibility, which is making it the best we ever, ever made. When I came to Clean and Clear, Clean and Clear was really in crisis. We were losing relevance with teen girls. As we started to peel back the onion on why that had happened, it became clear that we weren't putting out content in the places where they were watching content. We were still in what we would call an old model of communication. Clean and clear and under control. We didn't have a lot of opportunities for teens to talk back with us and be a part of the conversation. One of the ways that we decided to go about that was creating our See the Real Me anchor series. I'm Clarissa. See the real me. See the real me. See the real me. The insight behind See the Real Me was that 75% of teen girls were saying that they want to be seen, but they're afraid of being judged. So this lives solely on YouTube. It is a series where we feature real girls and we tell their stories of how they moved through their own judgment. It's a very different approach where 80% of the work is after the program and campaign has launched. And ultimately, this all funnels down into enabling consumers to take an action by saying, at Clean and Clear, the real me is blank, hashtag see the real me. The Video Music Awards are really our first true tentpole event that we've ever executed within the content marketing strategy within See the Real Me for Clean and Clear. It's really the first time where we're gonna be connecting traditional advertising and traditional media with digital and social media. Still telling the See the Real Me story, but in a different way. So we're gonna build on all our successes to bring a real girl live to the VMAs so that consumers can experience the VMAs through her eyes. So let's start with Lauren. Hi, I'm Lauren. I'm 16 years old. I live in Miami, Florida. Lots of energy. She's 16. She's exciting. She's got all these followers. Lauren sounds perfect. She does. She does. She's going to take over all of our social media channels and cover the VMAs from her point of view and her voice and her content. She's a different evolution of a a anchor series See the Real Me episode. We've never put our brand in the hands of somebody before in this particular way where we want her to be her authentic self, but we also want her to speak on behalf of the brand. We're about to put our brand in the hands of a 16-year-old. It makes me very nervous. <laughs> Our goal today is to really capture her in her element, having fun, doing what she does best, showcase, you know, that real girl in her. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Lauren See the Real Me episode is different from all the other things that we've ever done. It's going to be the largest audience that's ever seen a See the Real Me episode, and we're hoping that's going to drive people to our YouTube channel. We feel a lot of anxiety. We're putting in a lot of hours. We're focusing on every little detail because the stakes are high. And then we can send them and you can them later. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let me just... Yes, this is Beyonce. Okay. Where is this fall? It's kind of different. I'm not nervous. I'm actually really excited. And I thought I would be nervous, but I think the excitement's just overpowering that emotion. So... <laughs> okay, so I'm going to the VMAs, so follow my journey. I think it's also just hard that she's in LA and we're here. So that's probably the thing that's most nerve wracking. You guys have it to promote. She already started the takeover and we're seeing four times the engagement we typically get. And our commercial should be going on because it's in the pre-show. We're keeping all our eyes not only on what Lauren is seeing well, through her eyes, but also what our audience is experiencing through the VMAs. It's really sparkly. Did you know you wanted to be sparkly or was this? I knew. I knew. I was like, I want to go bam. Making sure you identify moments that we should be tapping into, et cetera. Yeah. Sending out the VMAs. You have to go the VMAs. This is a video I lied. I said we were going to take a selfie. OK, here we go. See the real me. You guys, we had a 66% engagement rate. We put some goals out there of like, we'd like to capture another maybe, you know, two to 5,000 more fans, subscribers, followers, et cetera. We had more than 35,000 in that very short time period. People saw it, were curious, came to YouTube. They uh, watched it from that content and they went to others. So yeah. we got 252 million impressions. It's rare for a marketer to be able to see the impacts right, right away.
I can't think of another brand that has ramped up from basically zero pieces of content to over 120 pieces of content in such a short period of time. Our measurement of success ultimately in the marketplace is winning share, and this is a brand that's gone from slightly declining to flat to gaining share points in the marketplace today. When you see teens responding to the brand, that's very gratifying. When you see the business respond, it really just kind of justifies all this hard work.